hello guys in this video we are going to learn how to do serial communication in 8051 in protease so before going into the connections and coding we shall first learn what it what serial communication is so since the concept of serial communication in 8051 is itself a vast topic to explore so i'm gonna tell you in a simple way so as we all know that microcontrollers can communicate data in parallel as well as serial form so in parallel communication data is transferred over more than one wire on the other hand serial communication data is transferred in bit by bit manner over a single single wire i will take examples of some images so this is an example of Parallel, parallel communication you can take this microcontroller as microcontroller 1 and this could be anything like it could be also a peripheral device and it could be also a microcontroller so if 8 wires of one microcontroller are connected to any other peripheral device or, a, an, or any microcontroller then at a particular time 8 bits 8 data bits are transferred now coming to serial communication so this is an example of serial communication so uh, in this case if microcontroller 1 is transferring data to another microcontroller in serial form then txt pin of microcontroller 1 will be connected to rxt pin of microcontroller 2 and data is transferred from microcontroller 1 to microcontroller 2 in bit by bit manner over a single wire if microcontroller 2 wants any data sorry if microcontroller 2 wants to send some data to microcontroller 1 then it should be connected for that it should be connected to txt pin and this microcontroller should be connected to rxt pin and again data bits will be transferred over a single wire generally serial communication is preferred when the distance between transmitter and receiver is large in 8051 microcontroller serial communication of data is performed with the help of special purpose resistors so uh, some special purpose resistors i can name it as first one is sbuf which is serial buffer resistor this is this is the sbuf register it is an 8 bit register and is used for serial communication of data in 8051 microcontroller so whatever data is required to be transmitted via txt pin must be then txt line must be placed in the buffer buffer register similarly the received data via txt line is same is same in as buff is sent in uh, as buff register when data is written to as buff register then it is framed in between data and stop bit before it is transmitted via txt line and similarly during reception of data start and stop bits are removed and actual data bits are extracted from the received frame and it, and then it is placed in as the as buff register then the second one second one is scon which is also called which is also called as serial control register so this is an example and this is the scon register the serial control or scon sfr is used to control the 8051 microcontroller's serial port it is located as an address of it is located at an address of 98h using scon you can control the operations modes of the serial port then you can contro also control the operation modes of baud rate and you can also send or receive data using serial port scon register also consists of bit that are automatically set when a byte of data is transmitted or received sm0 or and sm1 are used uh, are used to specify the serial mode serial port mode then rn pin this is the receive enable pin 
which is set or cleared by software to enable or disable re reception then ti ti it is it is the I transmit interrupt flag then ri flag this is the receive interrupt flag now coming to t mode register this is the third one t mode one t mode register the t mode or the timer mode register is used to set the operating modes of the timer t0 and t1 the lower four bits are used to configure timer 0 and the higher four bits higher four bits are used to configure timer 1 now the fourth one is TCON register which is timer control register timer control or TCON register is used to start or stop the timers of 8051 microcontroller it also contains bits to indicate if the timers or if the timers has overflowed it also concept it also contains of interrupt related flags so the fifth one this was all about TCON register and the fifth one we have TH1 which is also called timer 1 register high bit high byte so the timer 1 high byte register is loaded with appropriate value for baud rate generation timer 1 in mode 2 is used for baud rate generation the baud rate is the rate at which information is transformed information is transferred in a communication channel Baud rate is commonly used when discussing electronics that use com serial communication. In the serial port context, 9600, that is 9600 baud rate means that the serial, serial port is capable of transferring a maximum of, a maximum of 9600 bits per second. So, too much with the basics, right? Okay, now we shall uh, how we shall know how to perform this serial communication in Proteus. So here for this project, I have used 8051 microcontroller, eight LEDs I have used, then a virtual terminal I have used, some components that will provide the clock and reset the microcontroller. So the LEDs are connected to port P1, and then virtual terminal is connected to port P3 in the serial port pins of 8051 by sending characters through po serial port we will either turn on leds and turn on turn off leds for turning on the leds i will write the characters i will write the characters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 in the virtual terminal and for turning off the LEDs, I will write the characters A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H in the virtual terminal. For each command, it will reply if it will reply us back a single character which is K. So in the way we are in this way we are doing the two-way communication that is sending as well as receiving the serial data. So we should we should now implement the same through C code. So this is the C code. So first, firstly, including the header file, that is reg dot reg fifty two dot h, then display defining, sorry, defining the baud rate of nine thousand six hundred, that is ft in hex form, then defining some user defined functions, then defining the LEDs connected to port to P one, then coming to main function. So the CCT init function will set the ports. I am making here P3, P3 port pins active, and the P1 port at P1 port will be at initially low state, since the rest two rest two ports, that is port zero and port two, are not used, so they will be kept as off state. Now before going into the uh, user defined functions we should follow the steps for serial data reception and transmission in both the cases of serial uh, sorry serial reception as well as serial transmission 
we need to load the t mode register as time time of one in mode two which is written in the t mode register is loaded as uh, time of one in mode two which is written as zero cross 20 in embedded c language then load ascon register with zero cross sorry this is the ascon register this has to be loaded with zero cross 50 that is serial mode in rn equals to one receive operation is enabled in embedded c we write it as ascon is equal to zero cross 50 then load h1 with a value for the required border rate generation since i am keeping the border rate as 9600 that is ft so i will load 0 cross ft in th1 which is written as th1 equals to border rate in hex in embedded c language so now at the last setting the tr1 bit to start the timer 1 in in embedded c we we, we write it as tr1 equals to 1 so now for turning led 1 we need to write the character 1 to the virtual terminal this character will be received by the 8051 microcontroller so we should first write the code for receiving data so for that this is the function Firstly, we have to clear the receive interrupt flag before receiving any data. This is just to make sure that UART is ready to receive a new byte of data. In embedded C, we write it as R1 equals to 0. Then monitor the RI flag. Monitor the RI flag. This is to check whether the data has been received successfully or not. Now when the uh, now when ri becomes 1 it means it means that a data byte is received and so the data so the received data byte must be stored in some temporary variable for further processing so this is the temporary variable chr uh, which i have defined after receiving the character 1 the a 0 microcontroller will make the led LED 1 turn on and in return it will send the character K so for that uh, for that uh, like if we want to, s uh, to get um, to receive the uh, character K in virtual terminal we have to perform the operation of transmission so for that we have to this is the and the transmission is done by this function that is send byte serially so here first of all clear the interrupt flag then load the sbuf register with serial data the serial data it, it is the parameter passed in pa passed in this function here and this serial data is k so the k will be passed on to sbuf register then monitoring the ti flag to check whether the data has been transmitted successfully or not so in white in embedded c we write it as while ti equals to equals to zero so this is so that's how we receive k in virtual terminal so this is it with the transmission and reception operations the operation works for uh, works same for all the characters written over here as i said 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 characters will turn on the leds and a b c d e f g h characters will turn off the leds so that's all with the code now we shall create the hex file build at the target So the hex file I have named as serial.hex. I will import it in the a 0 microcontroller. Okay. 
so I will start the simulation now. For turning on the LED one, I have to write LED, uh, I have to send the character as one, and so I am getting from microcontroller as K. That means the connection between both the ends between both the devices has been performed. Now to turn turn on the LED two, I have to write two. Similarly, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all. All the LEDs are turned off. Turned on. Sorry. Now to turn off all of them. One by one, I have to write. For turning off the LED one, I will write A, then B, C, then D, E, F, G, and then H. So similarly, all the LEDs have been turned off. So that's all with the serial communication. you can use your own method to do this project thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much